Hi guys, it's Mr. Shopping Man recording. Today I'm bringing you guys the first episode in a new series that I'm making. This series will basically be an introduction to the game Realm of the Mad God. I have deliberately chosen to make a new account so that I can explain the game from the perspective of a new player that just started playing Realm of the Mad God today. My reasoning for this is that I personally have been playing the game for a very long time and many things have changed about the game in that time and therefore many of the videos on YouTube that were beginner's guides back in the day when I played are now outdated. First you will of course have to make an account in order to play. Right after you have made your account you will face this screen which is the character selection screen. Since you have not yet played the game the only class you can play is the wizard. This will later change since you can unlock new classes through progressing in the game. When you make your character, you will be immediately thrown into the tutorial. Here you can try out all the controls of the game and learn how to move your character, your camera, shoot and use your ability. You'll of course also need to learn how to dodge incoming attacks, and how to equip gear, and how to enter portals. You will then progress through the tutorial until you kill Bone Grind, and then you can take the portal to the Nexus the sort of sanctuary or safe space for all the characters in the game. Once you're in the Nexus, you can start with trying to understand all the different systems and missions in the game. If you press the flag on the right hand of your screen, you can see the mission log. Here you can also press the missions in order to collect their rewards. Another important thing to know before we set out on our adventure is that we can store our items that we get in our vault. And there's also a separate storage for stat potions. If we go back to Nexus, we can also find the daily quest room. Here you can both collect daily login rewards, but also see both general quests and event quests. Now that we have an overview of our missions, we can start leveling up our character. To do this, we need to go up from the spawn in Nexus and enter one of the realms. Once inside the realm, your goal is to kill enemies in order to progress your character and level up. Keep in mind that this is a roguelike game, meaning that if you get hit by enemies so much that you die, your character will die permanently. In order to level up, you will need to travel from the beaches of the map progressively further into the map. The further in and the closer you are to the middle of the map, the harder the enemies are going to be, but they will also drop better loot. Once you reach level 5 with the wizard, you will also unlock the priest class. Certain mobs can also drop so-called dungeons. One of the easiest of these is the pirate cave. In here, your task is to defeat the boss Dreadstump. Now all that you have to do is to kill enemies until you reach the level cap of 20. That is the first major milestone that you can complete in the game. This was all for the first episode of this series. I hope that I can see you all in the next installment, and of course, thanks for watching.